<laughs> we have got the wonderful <laughs> Leon Pettit here. Not Petit. Yeah, he's not French. No. No, he's not got long not hair. He's not a girly <laughs> Arsenal player. Like everyone wanted to pull his um hang on, that sounds dodgy. Le- no, he's not, he's not Emmanuel Petit. He is our own Leon Pettit. He's a local historian. He's also someone who come, contributes regularly to the fan roundtable, so you'd have heard and saw, saw him before. Um, this We're talking today about um, a, a pet project of, of Leon's, which is a fantastic website. I, I recommend it to everyone who's a Hastings fan, which is it's uh, hastingsfootballhistory.co.uk. It is absolutely rammed full of fantastic photos, the, a big overview and history of of Hastings. Uh, it's a great read. It's it, yeah, you, you've got to have a, a spare couple of hours to read it all. Leon, first of all, with the website, what made you start it up? Yeah, and, and how how long has it been going for? Um, I started it in 2015, and um, there's loads of information out there, you know, regarding local history. But there's definitely a massive gap in. Um, it's like sport in general, really, and particularly football. I don't know if it's sort of a local historian thing, but I don't think a lot of them are really into sport or football in particular. You might have a bit on cricket because of the old central grounds. There's quite a bit around that. But, yeah, with, with football, there's not a lot out there. So, um, yeah, I've got a sort of basic knowledge on web design and that. So I thought, well, why not go and do my own website about it? Because I sort of knew it would be... Um, you know, there'd be interest out there because a lot of people like to reminisce and like to see old pho- photographs and that. Yeah, just many hours later, it's 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 still a work in progress. I've been working on it for years, probably. Yeah, I'm sure many people have gone on there. There's still lots of lots of gaps to fill. But Leon, sell it better than that, mate. It's <laughs> it's fantastic, honestly. From someone who doesn't know all the history, like you've been going donkey's years longer than I have. Yeah. And like you know, the bits and pieces that you can pick, you pick up on that we, you don't know about. But actually, you know, like for anyone that's a fan of the club, again, I highly recommend it. I mean, in terms of uh, there's too long to mention in terms of this the very very long history of all the ups and downs of the club. I mean, could you give kind of like an, an overview of how the club for the, for the newer fans? Because I've had quite a few of them contact the the podcast and talk about you know becoming newer fans becoming interested and and how the current team has has really has really brought them out and as we've seen with attendances going up desperate to look into the 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 history Hastings as a club how did we start and kind of a little overview of if you can of our of our history in general yeah so I think I'll start off by saying Hastings United mark one like um, they were found in 1948, uh, folded in 85. They're a completely separate club. So a lot of people out there think we're the same. The current Hastings United are the same club that went on those famous cup runs back in the 50s. But the, the current Hastings United was founded as Rock and mm. Very much like an, an old town club. It was full of, you know, the f- fishermen, boatmen, old town families. Like if you look through like the early, early seasons, you'll see quite a few surnames I'm sure you recognise, like Adams. If it's any relation to Sammy, um, Edmonds, Mitchell, White, that sort of thing. And they very quickly become one of the strongest clubs in the area. About 1920, they, I think they'd, like, they'd reformed after the First World War, pretty much become like the strongest, most senior club in the area. And that's when they become Hastings and St. Leonard's mm. and joined the Sussex County League and had a season in the County League as Rock and Nor. But... They were very, they were very much still viewed as an old town team. So, um, it's 1921, they changed names to Hastings and St. Leonard's to sort of try and attract more, more fans and players. I was wondering what the, the reason was behind that name change. Mm. So that, that was the reason, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's pre- pretty much it. And that sort of caused some confusion because there was another sort of old town team that changed their name to Rock and Or like a couple of weeks after. So if you like go for the records, you'll see like, Mm. The Rock and Or name just carries on, but they're technically two separate clubs. But I mean, a lot of the old members probably would have then gone on to support the newer Rock and Or. Obviously, they're still going today in the East Sussex League. Then they sort of just powered forward as a county league team, quite uneventful. And then the 1930s was probably the most successful era for the club. They joined this league called the Southern Amateur League and won Division One about four times, I think. 
the top of my head and won the Sussex Senior Cup, sort of become like one of the strongest sides in the county mm. up until the outbreak of World War Two, which obviously interrupted football across the country. Following that, they make a return and it's 1948, Hastings United are formed, which means Hastings then, is, then kicks off the pilot field and unable to find a, a suitable home, basically, because they were in this um, league called the Athenian League, which oh. is still like senior senior football, so you need like an enclosed ground, sort of basic facilities, which no else in the town had. So they uh, get kicked off the pilot field, which screws them over massively, really. When when researching it, it was quite interesting reading through like, all the old Observer snippets. Mm. You know, people back then used to write in the for and against, but pe- people wanted to see like professional football in Hastings. But like the old amateur team, they were like a really strong strong side. Yeah, so d- and, just um, Leon, just a second. So you were saying that yeah. Hastings United, just to make it clear, so Hastings United mm. have formed. Now, are Hastings United a separate team from the Hastings and St. Leonard's? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah so Hastings and St. Leonard's, the former Rock and Roll. So that they kick they kick Hastings and St. Leonard's out of the pilot field. Yeah. Just so from a point of view of the Hastings yeah. United we support now, yeah, yeah. Is that the Hastings and St. Leonard's that are kicked off the pilot field? Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah. so this imposter Hastings United is on our pilot <laughs> field, basically, yeah? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. All right, mate. Sorry, yeah, just, just, just for those yeah, that no, aren't as is. completely clued up as you, mate. It, it is confusing. I mean, there's loads, loads of people out there into like, their football history that have got, you know, got their wires crossed with different clubs because you've had various clubs called Hastings and St. Leonard's over the years. Mm. And people think it's the same, it's, you know, the same club. Yeah. Yeah, and then going on from that, they end up settling at what is now called the Furs, which was back then the upper the pilot field upper pitch, but become known as the Furs, and end up joining uh, Division Two the Sussex County League when that was formed. And then for the next say twenty odd years or so, it was pretty uneventful for the team. They I think they probably a bit of more than they could chew. Finish bottom about three four seasons in a row. Also, obviously trying to rebuild after being kicked off the pilot field. And we get to 1976 when they changed the name to Hastings Town, mm. which would be probably a more familiar name for you know many people out there. Yeah. Just so so for a second here, Leon. So that mm. that Hastings United that are still playing, are they still playing on the pilot field? This yes. the, the imposter yeah. Hastings United. Yeah, the imposter Hastings United still Southern League. Yeah. Whilst Little Old Hastings and then it's Hastings Town of County League playing next door, and we're playing next door to them. All right, yeah. yeah. Play. That must have been a lively old derby, but anyway. Yeah, we'll... I think they did play each other mm. um, a couple of times, like in the FA Cup, probably like Sussex Cup games, but yeah, it must have been. So, um, yeah, I got to the name change, 1976, now called, no, yeah, sorry, called Hastings Town. Mm. And then uh, 1979, they finally win something. They win Division 2 of the County League and get promoted into Division 1. Um, remain there the Looked like quite a decent side. I think they had quite a few decent finishes. And then 1985, the imposter Hastings United fold. I mm. mean, they... And why did that happen, Leon? Well, because they've been plagued with, like, money issues throughout their history, really. And, um, yeah, sort of like the tax bill, I think, finally caught up with them. But, yeah, they, they obviously were in the Southern League and then Hastings Town applied to take their place in the Southern League. <laughs> so move up from the County League into the Southern for for new fans, that Southern League, what what would you compare it to the step that Hastings are in right now in terms of what was that in relation to where our team plays right now? So when Hastings, the imposter Hastings United folded, you would have had the Football League, then what is now the National League, which is back then called the Alliance, the Alliance yeah. League, mm-hmm. and then the Southern Premier. And you think before that the Alliance League was formed, it would have been Football League, Southern League Prem. So like the old Hastings United would play with, you know, a really good standard. Mm. But yeah, so they they fold. Hastings Town take their place, but put in the Southern Division because in the Premier, there's, I think it was Whitney Town, were um, just about avoided relegation because of Hastings United folding. Mm. So they appealed against it and Hastings Town were put in the Southern Division, but I mean, they still got promoted. They like finished mid-table of County League and still effectively 
promoted and mm. took a lot of old Hastings United players. And then the 90s for Hastings Town was quite quite successful. Won the Do- Dr. Martin's League Cup, the Sussex Senior Cup twice, uh, won the league 92. And now we're getting to like more years, I, I remember. They won the Southern, Southern League, Southern Division, 2001, 2002. And then the, that summer, they become Hastings United. Changed, you know, from from all white or white and red colours to claret and blue. The pilot field gets some gets some eight left. The I tell you what, one of the things that Windy mentioned, which was Stamco. Do we uh, where's Stamco come into all this? So I was going, well, I was about to say, go back to nineteen eighty five. Also in Hastings Town take United's place in Southern League. They also mm. returned to the pilot field, which we've obviously been where we've been playing since. Yeah, Stamco were. Um, were basically formed from Stamco, the company, you know, the builders' merchants. Yeah. Basically, they just rose rose up from the local leagues, end up in the county league, late 80s, I think. And I think early 90s, they end up taking over the Furs for a lot, for ground raising reasons because they've, you know, been promoted so many yeah. times. And then come the mid 90s, Stamco are a Southern League team and you've got the Hastings Town St. Leonard's, well, they changed name to St. Leonard's 97, I'm going to say. You Stamco did, like, yeah? Fact check this, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you get the the Hastings Town St. Leonard's derbies, which were cracking games. Like back, back then, like, you know, pilot fields, you'd see, you'd be happy to see 600 up there. And then back then, St. Leonard's, you'd get 1,200 at least. Mostly local players as well. They all know each other, so you know, good feisty, feisty games. But St. Leonard's had spent, or St. Leonard's Stampo had spent quite a lot of money. Sort of same old story, really. And yeah. so their tax bill ends up catching up with them, and they folded two thousand and four. In terms of money issues and things like that. So when does Mark come into it? Because Mark bought. A, when did Mark buy the club, or he put he invested in the club? Um, was that early 2000s? I'm trying to remember. You remember the lottery winner? Mark Gardner. And I used to drink with him in the welly. Uh, drink it, welly. Yeah. Why did Mark take over? Was that just because he'd started coming along to watch Hastings? Or was there some financial issues or what? From what I'm aware, he, he took over St. Leonard's first. All I know is he was involved with them for a while before he then took over Hastings. and was promising to get us in the Football League within five years or something like that. When you had Simon Stoddart on there, his old fanzine was called Ghost of Mark Gardner's five year plan. I think it was Ghost of United and changed it to that. Yeah. And then that all ended sourly. I remember him just sort of packed up and left really. And then because yeah. we had quite a few players on high wage bills that ended up screwing over Hastings town. And I think we entered administration and who was it? It was uh, the other local lottery guy took over, Mick Mapleson. Yeah. Him and I can look at sorting took, took us over, I think, 99 and saved us. But and, and yeah, and then Mark Gardner, I really haven't heard much from him since. God, it's difficult, isn't it? Because this isn't <laughs> the most easy uh, history. No, to I know. With all the name changes no. and all the stuff, that the intrigue going on. So we were at the 90s. So you've got, who have you got at the first? You've got St. Leonard's. You've got St. Leonard's at the first, yeah. and we've we've obviously got the, the proper Hastings United at the pilot field now, yeah? Yeah. 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 So this is yeah, 2002. They changed the name to United. And then yeah, so we all Hastings was always like a Southern League club. Moved to the Isthmian when the FA started reshuffling the leagues about two, 2004, 2005. Sort of nothing, nothing really significant more to add. Nothing, you know, up until now. Well, we had Neville Southall for a little while, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. God, I remember him playing me. That was Brandon. He used to um, sit up in the stand, didn't he? Yeah. Sit up in the stand first afternoon, and then come down the dugout to get a better view of the of the pitch. But we had Neville Southall as a manager, so that was an interesting yeah. period. And then, well, we obviously had the cup run. Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, sort of after, like after Neville Southall around that time, it sort of started the old managerial merry-go-round, didn't it? We've gone through like a ridiculous amount of managers. We won the playoffs 2006, 2007. Um, 
about 2012, obviously Razor's in charge and we got on that amazing cut run. Mm. That game at Harrogate was a bloody Jesus, brilliant night. Yeah. yeah. It's brought... pilot field that packs as well. It was just amazing. Like the TV crew, everything it was, yeah, surreal. No, I mean, one of the funny things about that night was I just remember, it, obviously Goldie was injured and they kept yeah. kicking it to the bit yeah. where the, the leg that wasn't injured. And I'm thinking, what? Yeah. <laughs> But I think the goal they scored was because he was he was injured. Mm. Wasn't it? They put him across and you could see him like limping and yeah, they headed it in. It's a mad game. That was such a mad game. Oh, man, do you remember that? I mean, it was rocking. I mean, I was actually in the main stand. Was you? <laughs> I was in the main stand for yeah. maybe some of the first half, maybe a little bit of the second, and then I'm like, nah, I'm getting I'm getting behind the goals now. I can't yeah, can't be. Yeah. That was when I was a bit of a main stand. Um, yeah, let me. That season, obviously, it really did go right. It went tits up, didn't it? Really, it was um, for in the terms of the league, it was polar opposites. A fantastic cup run. Yeah, everyone was hyped for it, but then when when you turned up for a league game, it was, uh, you know, it was well, it was like chalk and cheese, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, it and, was like um, hungover, wasn't it? The high of that, you know, after the Borough game. And then yeah. sort of it was back to reality, wasn't it? Well, yeah, then we had a bit of that. And then, then obviously, because we went down. Since gone close a couple of times, haven't we, in the playoffs? But I haven't quite managed it. And if it weren't for that, if it weren't for bloody COVID, we'd be... Yeah. Well, this one league higher, wouldn't we? This this season, Leon. It is. It is, isn't it? It is. It, it is. seems to be going our way, doesn't it? Just it's happening, mate. Play. It's happening. now. good. No, I mean, that's tremendous. I mean, um, thanks for that. Go, go on my website <laughs> if you've got like a couple of hours to spend and have a read yeah. through. It's obviously not just Hastings. So, yeah, so mm. you've got what Hollington, you've got St. Leonard's. Where you got yeah, so literally, like, basically, like, football was first played in the town, like, in the 1880s. And, like, every club, like, every club I've come across, I've, I've listed on my website. I've got teams like Hollington, obviously, you know, quite a quite a prominent local club, quite well supported and, you know, surrounding teams as well, like Bexhill Little Commons. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a Hastings fan to, you know, have an interest in this, but well, not even a football fan. You know, if you're interested in local history, mm. have a yeah. read. I've had people get in contact, you know, asking about family members that have played, played for clubs, if they've got any photos, just, you know, if you're doing a bit of family history research, it could be a good place mm. to come have a look or get in touch and I'll see if I can help you out so in terms of getting in contact with you leon obviously we've got the website hastingsfootballhistory.co.uk is there any other way if anyone does want to get in contact with you directly uh is there anything you want to give out yeah so on social media i've got twitter and facebook my twitter is at hfh underscore 1066 you know getting this a contact form on the website if you want to get in touch as well so otherwise if you don't want to do that don't want to do that. Contact myself on the podcast and I will absolutely forward anything on to Leon. So uh, fantastic website. Um, I put Leon on the spot a little bit there, trying to give the entire history of the crazy history of Hastings United. But thanks very much, Leon. Leon, are you going Ashford? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hang well, on. I should, I should be playing, actually. So, Well, Leon, I won't see you at that game. Um, recording this is the week before, so I will see you at the Burgess Hill game. See you there. But, um, good luck to Ifflesham. Where are you in the league? Uh, mid table. I'll go to the same mid table. Everyone, how can you not know where you are in the league? Look, look at what you're a sub then. Just turn up and play. Is it? <laughs> yeah. All right. We're basically, we're not top. We're not, we're not doing we're not that, that well. So, yeah, we're not bottom. We're not top. Yeah. Turn up and play to the pub afterwards. Yeah, that's that's that. That's more like yeah, it. So, what's your nearest exactly. pub there? Queen's Head. So, right. So, basically, you're playing, and it's more the pub afterwards than the game itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. More the social side of it then. Yeah. Yeah. No. And great stuff. If I took football seriously, I yeah, I would have tried to have played higher years ago. But no, it's good that you're still playing, like Leon. Yeah, yeah and I was. Playing. You know, I just keep playing for as long as I can. So, yeah. what, what, what's going to be knackered out first? Would it be the knees or? I think the job, my job getting in the way more yeah. than anything. Yeah, you just seem to sort of finish later and later on a Saturday. Well, it's all that Amazon stuff you're delivering, isn't you? Yeah. Bezos, mate. Oh, yeah, everyone. In control of Bezos. 
Uh, listen, it's an absolute pleasure, Leon. Thank you very much for this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at A game. I'll see you at A game, yeah. A game. All right, take care. Thanks oh, for cheers, this. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Tomorrow,